like a lot of people, we have a small laundry room with a lot of dead space. This is also where we keep the litter boxes and we always have to work around them and it's just very uncomfortable. So I redesigned it. The new design will allow us to have a stackable washer and dryer so that we can put cabinets all around it for storage and the litter boxes can go right here. And I thought all of that would be easy. Our washer and dryer just broke, which is what triggered this project to start. Did that not like squeeze the water out of the clothes at all? I don't know how washing machines work, but this doesn't seem right. No freaking wonder the dryer doesn't dry our clothes. I think we need a new washing machine. We're going to order our new washer and dryer, and before it's time for them to get delivered, we have to get the laundry ready. I don't know if you can tell in this video, but I'm very short and I can't reach the dryer buttons at the top. So I decided to get the Samsung Bespoke series that allows you to control the washer and dryer from the bottom. They gave us a delivery time of three weeks for the washer and dryer, which meant that it was time to get to work. Okay, so now that I took everything out, the plan is to change the floors. So I'm going to do the same floors that I did in the living room because I'm pretty much doing that same floor in this whole area. Before I can do the floors in the laundry, I have to take out some of the trim because it's gotten ruined with the years and with the cats. The trim that this house came with was MDF, which if any moisture touches it, it just goes like and also, it's, uh, I have to take it out and put in new ones, but that'll get done along with the floors. And I am really bad at recording videos of myself, so I never really finished this sentence. So we're just gonna move on. And this is when I found out the first problem. I didn't know how bad it was yet. So I started dealing with the water damage and treating it, but then I realized that what caused the water damage was the door. It was rusted out and it had a hole where it had been leaking. And changing this door was not part of the plan and it was not in my budget, so I had to try to find someone to help me change it. But that's future Tiffany's problem. In the meantime, I'm going to continue. Oops. So there are these strips in the walls covering the seams of the drywall and I wanted to take them out just so I can patch them and make them smooth. Don't forget to shut the water off because if you disconnect the washer without the water off, you will have a very interesting evening. She's beauty and she's grace. She's gonna <laughs> fall right on her face. I um, it's heavy. I think it has like water in it. Like there's no water, like visible water there, but like the washers, I think they hold a little bit of water. <laughs> move to the right, move to the left, move to the right, move to the left. And here it is, a blank canvas. This room looks so much bigger now. She broke everything, everything. So now I'm gonna remove the rest of the baseboard. You can see this has a little bit of water damage. It might or might not have flooded this laundry room before. We probably should replace that. The good thing is, is that it's just in the surface and it's all dry. So like all of it is dry because when we did have the flood in the laundry, 
we cleaned it right away and like we brought out everything we had dehumidifiers like i mean we like tackled it like right away so everything dried up but i guess probably moisture got trapped in there for a little bit and it looks like it's growing mold a little bit but it's a very small spot it doesn't look like it's spreading out i'm just going to cut out this part of the wall and just replace this part of the drywall just to be safe Checking for wires. Anytime you do any work behind the walls, like check for wires, water lines. Because again, you can have a very interesting evening if you hit one of those. And just like I did with the door, I clean and treated the area. So I luckily found some leftover drywall from my last project, which was a bathroom renovation. So I had enough pieces to do this. This is not a big piece. I am using dry deck spackling. This one goes on pink and it dries white, so that you, know, you can sand it and paint it and, and all that. I've seen videos of other people doing drywall and they make it look so easy but me on the other hand I'm just fighting with this blob here and I'm just trying my best. It does end up looking good I will say that. I was gonna lay the new floor on top of this since you know it was in good condition but because I found water damage I am a little bit paranoid so I'm gonna go ahead and take it out just to make sure there's no water damage trapped underneath this floor. Looks like we're good. Just like a slight water stain, but that's it. Luckily, everything was dry in that area. And for the next few days, I did multiple coats of drywall mud and I had a fan dry in the area that did have water damage. After I got done with the drywall, the next step was to paint the walls. The color I picked was Drift of Mist, which is a very light gray. After painting, I started prepping the floor by laying under layment. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> it's the hair right here. But I had to stop the floor project because my dad came to the rescue to help me change the light fixture and the door situation. You gotta do it before you put it on. Oh. Okay, turn it on. Maybe that one? Okay, keep going. No. Hell no. Hell, hell no. No. <laughs> See it look. Right there. Okay. That one looks good. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. You sure? Yeah. I'm not taking it off again.
make it happen. <laughs> I'm using vinyl planks for the floor, which is an easy DIY floor to install and is waterproof, which is perfect because this is a laundry room. If you want to know more about how to install vinyl plank flooring, I did a full video how to install it when I did my living room. I'll have it linked in the description below. You found the stick? That's a big stick. That's a big stick. You want me to throw it, don't you? You want me to throw it. Good girl. Good girl. You're such a good girl. Oh my goodness. After I got done with all the floors, it was time to do the door jams and all the finishing trim. The amount of time I spend looking for tools is unreal. Like it's part of the reason I can't get anything done. You have a wet what? <laughs> okay. You have a wet willy? <laughs> no. <laughs> I have a wet napkin and I find it easier like for you to uh, use a wet finger that it like smooths the, the coughing easier. And you want to have a wet napkin and not lick the finger because... <laughs> Don't. What? Are you helping? Are you okay? <laughs> and now that we're finally done, we got the washer and dryer delivered. Oh my goodness. They're huge. They're so nice. 
And here we have video evidence that Tiffany also does the laundry. have like the shitty ones, you know, like <laughs> I'm excited. Uh, I hope they can stack them when they come back. After the washer and dryer got stacked, I was ready for cabinets. And I got a quote for custom made cabinets and they came out to $6,000, which is way out of my budget. So I decided to build them myself, even though I've never done this before. So I'll see you on the next video where I attempt to build this tall, massive cabinet.